Hey guys, thank you for stopping by my channel today. My name is Gina, and I believe that there's more to life than looking good, but you gotta look good too. Today's another look good video. I am doing um, my series of 2018 beauty favorites. And so again, I was inspired by Rebecca over at uh, Frugalista Blog. Definitely go check her out. I will link her down below. Also, P.S., um, Emily Noel at uh, Emily Noel 83 she is also doing she has the Emily Awards, which I think is really cool. She goes very in depth um, and does an amazing presentation of all of her individual um, videos of her categorized beauty favorites as well. I mentioned in my last video, which was my first one, the 2018 um, favorite concealers, I mentioned that I felt much more relaxed and comfortable doing um, an individual annual favorites by category instead of trying to jam it all into one video because we'd be here forever. Um, so definitely go check out those two other gals. Um, they have, what's cool about their videos as well, in addition to the fact that they're just fantastic um, creators, but um, we have different skin tones, we have different skin types. And so especially when it comes to the face products um, and even some of the color products, um, you'll get a variety of uh, like a, a report and a way to kind of compare um, different um, skin types and different skin tones. So definitely check them out. If you're not one of my subscribers to the G Crew, I invite you to become a subscriber. Please do that before you go. Also, if you enjoy these kinds of favorites videos, especially annual favorites, definitely give this video a like so that I know. And finally, I'm just gonna say at the beginning of the video that I have been playing on Instagram. I know technology, I am good at technology. And it's kind of hilarious because um, I'm having, my learning curve with like Insta stories and stuff um, is kind of hilarious. And so um, you might see some bloopers over there too. So if you have a minute, check me out at Instagram as well. Okay, let's get into the favorites. Today I am doing my favorite blushes. And blushes, I have such a love-hate relationship with blush. And that's because I feel like blush can go bad so quickly and so easily. Um, you can intensify an eye look you can intensify a lip look um, or a lip hue or shade or color um, and still look phenomenal because that's the art and the creativity behind it. You go too much blush and if done in the wrong way, you don't look like you know what you're doing. And so I am very sensitive about blush. I am very particular to blush. It's one of those things that I zone in on. Um, like when I check myself out in the mirror, I'm like, do I have on too much blush? Is my blush blended in? Um, and so, I have a variety of blushes, but which in, what's interesting is what I'm gonna share with you today, I don't really have much more when it comes to blush. Like these guys are the ones that I like, I default to them a lot because I know that they work well. And so I've got High End and Drugstore, I've got Sheer, and I've got Matte, let's get started. I'm gonna start with my two favorite blushes of all. After my whole spiel about how I have a love-hate relationship with blush, um, my two favorite blushes are my favorite blushes. Let me just say I prefer matte blushes overall. Um, that's because I feel like a shimmer blush has to be done well. Like the color has to shimmer because once you have too much shimmer, then the shimmer and the reflection becomes too silver or too gold. I want my shimmering blush to be a blush shimmer. Now that doesn't mean that, as complicated as I made that sound, that doesn't mean that I don't have favorite um, sheer, uh, not sheer, favorite um, shimmery blushes. Um, but I feel like it's a fine line before you wind up looking like you've got two disco balls on your cheeks. Um, so my favorite blushes are matte blushes. I enjoy matte blushes more. Um, my favorite matte blushes, however, are sheer. My oldie but goodie, who I've loved forever, is by MAC. It's the sheer tone blush called Peaches. You guys have seen this like a hundred times. Everybody talks about it, a little bit brighter in the pan, blends in because it's the sheer blush. It just blends in on its own. You can literally like sit there and like just absorb the blush because it'll just like magically go on your face. It's beautiful. Sheer blushes, I love. So this one is a, is uh, when I want to go a little brighter. Um, maybe in the summer. I mean, you can wear it year round, but you know, sometimes I might default to more frequently in the summer. My new love of the year, probably my favorite blush 
out of everything. Um, it's by Laura Mercier. This is also a sheer tone blush. Officially, it's the Blush Color Infusion. I have the shade Ginger, which is like just a neutral. It's even picking up pretty dark on camera, but it is a very neutral, little bit of pink, little bit of peach, little bit of everything all in there. It is definitely not pink though. It's not a pink or berry blush. It's actually what I'm wearing today. Um, in 90% of my videos, you will see me wearing this blush because I feel like it just doesn't do me wrong. Because it's sheer, it's not so pigmented. So I can control the intensity without immediately overdoing it and having to like dumb it down. And that's probably what I love the most about sheer blushes. Um, there are other shades of this Laura Mercier blush. Look, you can barely even see it on my hand. Um, but that's because it just, huh, I don't know. It just makes me so happy. When I am like tired or in a rush, like I just put this on because I know there is no chance I'm going to look clown-like. Um, so let me keep talking a little bit about some more of my favorite matte blushes. Um, new to me this year also, this is by Bare Minerals. This is the Gen Nude blush. Um, I have this shade, Pretty in Pink. And it's funny because in the pan, I'm not even sure. In the pan, it's like a, it's a pinky peach, a little bit bright almost, but this is a very, it is also like a sheer blush because it does, it just doesn't like throw so much color on. Like NARS blushes, they're beautiful, but you have to have like a featherweight hand, I feel. Otherwise you are blushed up and it, you are, you are looking high and mighty. Um, so the Gen Nude blushes are, I don't know, they're just, they're also kind of just simple to use. That's probably my biggest concern. Like, I don't want you to be a complicated bl blush. I had enough going on in my life. Don't complicate me with the color of my cheeks, right? Um, what's cool about the Gen Nude blushes is that they're almost, they're a little bit like a cream to powder. Um, and so that just kind of makes it fun and interesting. It's different. I can't really, it's not like, it's not a cream because you can use a normal blush brush. Um, but it it's creamier. It's a creamy blush. How about that? Um, and so there's some other really beautiful colors. I 100% uh, default to pretty in pink. And that's probably like when I want to look like fresh faced and just not nude, but like brighten up my complexion a little bit. I'm actually kind of showing you <laughs> blushes like in order that I like them. Um, Tarte. Not this year, but uh, recently. They had their initial launch of blushes of the Amazonian, 12 hour, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blushes. And then they came out with a strictly nude line. I love one of them in particular. It's called Sensual. Again, it's a very kind of neutral, a um, little bit of pink, a little bit of brown almost, um, but just adds a really nice flush to the cheeks. They do last a long time. I have a problem with blush. Um, duration just because my uh, cheeks tend to get a little oily. I have very large pores right there. And so they are in constant battle with each other. That being said, um, this particular blush line, the whole blush line, this is the line that launched Exposed, which is a very popular kind of blue pink um, blush tone that's been kind of uh, popular for a long time. Um, I definitely default much more to this, one of these neutral shades, which is called Sensual. So some drugstore favorites. Um, I don't have it in front of me, but I love the Milani blushes, the ones that are um, shaped like the flower. And the pan is quite huge. Um, those have been around for quite a long time. I do love those. Um, this year though, I became really good friends with the Flower Beauty. They call these the Flower Pots Powder Blush. How cute is that? So I have a gorgeous Strictly Peach shade. Um, which I think is nice because a lot of mine, are, like I said, a lot of mine are nude. Some of them are peachy pink. This is like a strict peach, way pigmented. Oh my goodness. Pigmented in such a good way though. What, what you have to have when you go along with pigment, pigment is blendability. And I find that these blushes give you that as well. They, they are pigmented. So you don't want to go in with a super dense brush. You want a lighter, fluffier sort of blush brush. Um, did I just mess that up? I might have just called a brush a blush. You get me. You know what I mean, right? Those words are like 
meanly interchangeable. Um, anyway, so you want to make sure that you go in with these flower pots with um, a softer brush, but not, you don't have to worry like that you're going so super light. This particular shade is called PB, uh, Sweet Pea. The other one was called Peach Primrose, and then this one is called uh, Sweet Pea. I like this one. This is different. This is like kind of a mauve -y sort of pink. It's a very cool, very cool blush. It actually reminds me a little bit of the Tarte Exposed, just a little bit, not exactly. I don't know if they're dupes for each other or not, but just reminds, makes me think, oh, I have a blush that's similar to that, and that would be the Tarte Exposed. Um, but these blushes are just really good quality. The entire flower line is actually overall really good. Okay, going along with Drugstore, let me start talking a little bit about some shimmer blushes. Um, I just mentioned this in the favorites. This is by CoverGirl. Um, this is the, what do they officially call it? Oh, it's the Cheekers blush. Cheekers, this is the shade Iced Cappuccino. Um, now this has a little bit of a sheen, no glitter. Um, I was gonna say no glitter, no shimmer, but it's got a little bit of a sheen, a little bit of a shimmer. It wants to pull a hair icy. I mean, it is called Iced Cappuccino. Um, but you know what? It adds a really nice, gorgeous flush to the skin. That that iced sheenness is something that I am just completely type A personality about. I think this blush complements many or most skin tones. Um, deeper, it is a little light, so watch out if you're um, like a dark medium skin tone. Um, but for like three bucks or something, um, it's a really nice find on, um, at the drugstore that's got a little bit of shimmer in it. It has way less shimmer than the Milani. Um, like Milani Luminoso and all the other Milani blushes that come in the little little pot, little round pot, little chubby pot. Um, way less shimmer than that. I am not a fan of those because those are so shimmery. I didn't feel that way before, but I definitely feel that way now. Um, a blush that I've been loving a long time, I've mentioned it before, are the Clinique Cheek Pops. These are just so good. I constantly always have nude pop on me again very neutral a little bit of sheen but the sheen is not icy i hate the icy sheen it's like you put blush on and then you put highlighter right on top i don't like that i don't like when it looks like two different products i want the shimmer and the sheen to be inherent within the color of the blush meaning that there's not too much shimmer because once you put too much shimmer that's when it over overpowers the color you want it to you want it to like step behind the color so that there's like a sheen underneath and not like a highlighter right on the top. So this is Nude Pop. I'm not even, I, I mean, I'm gonna try to swatch it, but it's a, it's got a little bit of a, it's almost like a little bit, it's almost like a mocha undertone, a, undertone, a very pale, um, it's a little bit of pink, a little bit of brown. It's nudie. Uh, kind of like, doesn't matter the season. I also like um, Pink Honey. Um, this one is just a really nice, subtle pink, brightens up the face, has a little bit of like a peach in it. It's not like a pure pink, so I love that. And then in the summertime, I favor Peach Pop. Um, peach Pop looks insanely bright in the pan, but honestly, it, again, because they're almost like sheer blushes also, um, they, uh, they just blend so nicely. And that's, again, that's kind of what I'm looking for. So the Clinique Cheek Pops, those are pretty phenomenal also. I need to take a break and clean myself off because I am loaded, loaded with powder everywhere. Okay, I have a couple more um, shimmer blushes. They are high end. I'm sorry. Again, drugstore. Although drugstore is is picking up its performance and its quality, it's a fine balance between trying to add the shimmer and then adding too much. And so, again, type A personality. Um, okay, so uh, a longtime favorite is by Mac. This is the Mineralized Blush in Warm Soul. This is, um, again, you can kind of wear it all, I can't get it open. <laughs> you can kind of wear it all year round. Clearly it's it's more of a brownie peach, a little bit more brown um, than peach. Um, has an amazing shimmer. It's a baked blush. Um, and this is kind of, this is full on shimmer. But again, you see how you can, for the most part, see the color itself. That's what I like about this blush. It just adds a natural, flush to the skin. I probably favor it more um, in the summer, but in the winter doesn't mean that you can't try to warm your face up because we all look like pale ghosts come about um, February or so. Um, a very popular one that um, I'm not alone in liking is by Hourglass, the ambient, um, the ambient 
Oh, ambient lighting blush. I'm so used to saying ambient lighting powder that I like drew a blank when I was trying to say the blush. The ambient lighting blush. I like, I prefer the shade Dim Infusion. Um, you have to be careful though when you pick these up um, because they are a swirl of almost like their ambient lighting powder and then blushing powder. Some of the compacts have way too much like ambient lighting powder swirl. And so when you swirl your, bl your brush in it, you do wind up getting a little bit too much of the highlighter effect. So I specifically went to the store and picked this one out, like in the compact. They probably didn't like me. I was probably getting stared at, but I was opening up the individual compacts of the one that I was going to buy to find one that um, was friendly when it came to um, having more color than more shimmer or sheen. Um, so again, just a really light, not really a sheer blush, um, because it does, it is a pigmented powder, but because of the nature of the design, well, first of all, Hourglass makes amazing powders and it's no surprise that they make a really beautiful blush. Um, I like that it just kind of shows up as a nice flush, not too bright. That's the other thing. You got to be careful when you've got your shimmer within your blush. If the color is too bright and you're reflective. Oh my God, that makes me cringe. I don't know. I bet some faces can pull that off and some people can pull that off. I don't know. I, it just, it, it bugs me. I just, I can't. I, I don't really notice it. In fact, when I notice it on other people, I'm like jealous. I'm like, wow, you totally can pull that off. Not me, not me. I need blushes that are user friendly. The last one I'm going to mention, um, I think this was from this year. Uh, don't quote me on that though. I will link, by the way, all of my other uh, favorites videos and stuff from years prior. Don't go check, go check that out for sure. Um, but this is by Marc Jacobs. Now this guy, this is the Air Blush, and I have the shade Flesh and Fantasy. How ironic that I got the nude. I buy the nude lipsticks and I buy the nude blushes. Hello. I think the brightest thing I had was like the cheek pop. Um, and that's pre predominantly because it's kind of a sheer blush. Okay, so this is blush on one side, followed by highlighter on the other side, and then like a menagerie of the both in the middle. So because the compact is so big, this is what I think is brilliant. Sometimes you have really small compacts that have like um, some like highlighter or shimmer and then others, and then the other side of it has color, but like your brush can't help but touch the entire thing. This way, you can kind of favor if you want less shimmer um, or more shimmer, you can actually use this side as a highlighter if you like. Um, if you're using a small highlighter application brush, um, or you can kind of hit the middle and just get a nice combination of um, color and shimmer as well. Again, to add a healthy glow, the color is not so bright, and so therefore it is pretty friendly. Oh my goodness, I wanna look at my timer. I wanna see how long I've been talking, but I feel like that was pretty efficient. Do you agree? <laughs> anyway, those are my favorite blushes for 2018. Um, please share with me what some of your favorite blushes are. Talk to each other. Let each other know what you guys should be looking out for. Like I said, definitely give this video a like if you did. Um, subscribe and join the G Crew. Check me out on Instagram. Thank you for spending your time with me. Oh, also check out those other channels that I mentioned, Rebecca and Emily. Um, thank you so much for spending your time with me. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of the day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. In the meantime, thanks.